Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, is a little nice summer H&M haul. I ordered a bunch of this stuff before a trip to Italy because I needed a couple pieces to bring with me that I had my eye on for a while. Also, Harrison apparently at this point has fully grown out of his like six months clothes, so I needed to update his wardrobe a little bit. And they had some really cute pieces on the site along with some nice like swimsuit that I figured will be good for him because we were planning to bring him to the pool quite a bit throughout the summer to get him started getting acquainted with water. And we're gonna turn him into a little lifeguard like I was. And I also picked up some updated homeware pieces too just to kind of like add to our collection because now we're in a home I have so much more space to decorate than when we lived in a condo so I can't wait to share with you guys everything that I picked up. Let's just jump right into the video. I think what I'm gonna do is start off with like the home stuff and then we're gonna move into Harrison's things and then I'll share you pieces that I picked up for myself at the very end. So I got quite a bit of stuff for the home. So get a snack, sit down, and I hope you guys enjoy. First up, we love hosting in the summer. I mean, it's a little bit trickier this year so far just because we've been traveling, we've had our wedding, but we are definitely planning to have some friends over as soon as possible. And I felt like I didn't have a lot of like cute, dinnerware serving pieces. So I picked up a couple of them. They're not necessarily like all dinnerware stuff, but they kind of fit into the vibe. So first up is this very unnecessary, but necessary little strainer for fruits. I think this would be so adorable just to put like a stack of strawberries in here or some like plums and peaches and just like set it down in the middle of a dining table. It just has like a little serving piece. So, so, so cute. I also love the color. I am very into like that organic modern vibe with that very like Malibu, California feel. I finally figured out the name to the home decoration style that I like so far. And this is it. Apparently it's considered modern organic. So I got this little stoneware fruit basket. So adorable and it's definitely going to elevate like any sort of display of food in the middle of a dining table. In the same realm of that, I also had to get myself this little stoneware strainer. So cute. What better way to display grapes that after you wash them than in this beautiful little stoneware piece. All of H&M's stoneware stuff is actually really well made and it's also like super substantial. Like this is very thick. I love their home stuff. It is also such like a bargain and a steal compared to all the prices you would pay at other places like CB2 and West Elm. Still other stuff there, but H&M is just so much more affordable and they regularly have like 25% off the site, free shipping, $5 off deals. So you can definitely score a lot of these pieces at discounted rates. And they're also so beautifully made and very like on trend with the modern design styles that I personally like. I think this would also be cute to kind of scatter down the middle of our dining table. We're going for that like organic modern theme. So this really fits in with the color of the travertine of our dining table. Next up, as you guys know, I have been looking for some wood touches to add to our table. I originally bought bought that mango wood cake stand, but then the base was broken when it arrived. So I definitely returned that, didn't want to keep it, but I did want to add some other textural components to it. So I picked up this little wooden serving board. I like it because it's fairly low profile, but it's high enough that I can probably put this on the table. It's about like two inches, set some vases on top or even use this as a charcuterie board if I'm having guests over. It's going to have a lot of use and purpose to it. So I'm really glad. It's also been like sanded down really nicely. My main concern when it comes to wooden pieces is if there's no like felt on the bottoms, if it's going to scratch up my tabletop because it is stone. So I'm very careful with what pieces I select, but this one I kind of like. It's very simple, sleek, low profile, so it doesn't like take over the table. It also is a really great size. So if I'm serving other things on the table, I can stack it around without feeling like this is like overwhelming the tablescape way too much. I like the color. It's very neutral. It's not too warm or too cool either. So you won't have to worry about this like clashing with your colors if you are decorating for different times of the year, like say fall when you want something a little bit warmer. Do I have enough vases? Yes. Do I need to add more? Also, yes. I really like this kind of a symmetrical clay style vase. I, I don't exactly know what you would call it. It looks very organic and raw and I kind of liked how it's not perfectly symmetrical. I can actually envision myself putting this on top of this little wooden platter here and putting kind of like, I don't know, some sticks coming out of it. I think that would be really pretty, perfect for the dining table. I'm also looking into getting a brand new sideboard for the back of our dining area to finally complete the whole like design layout that I had in mind and it's a white one. So I wanted to put this on top to add some more textural elements to it and just to give it a lot more, not color, cause this is definitely not color, but because that's white and our walls are similar to this, it will kind of like fall in the same color palette. I don't know, I just think it works. It looked beautiful when I saw it online. So I picked it up and I'm actually really happy with the buy. It's lightweight and it's not gonna be a vase that I'll put a lot of fresh flowers in, probably just preserved pieces. Cause it's gonna be quite difficult to get inside and clean this once you have to like take the flowers out and if the water goes bad. I'm just going to use this as a decorative piece for definitely a dry sticks and branches. I know that sounds super unsexy, but hey, that's the style that I like. So that's how I'm going to be decorating. 
salad tongs. I know like not the sexiest, but I've been looking for the perfect salad tongs for so long. I think I might actually also want to pick up another set that's made out of wood. Indigo has a really nice one, but I wanted some gold ones just to add some accent to our tablescape whenever we're serving our guests. Up until now, honestly, I have been serving salads like stainless steel bowls that I use in the kitchen whenever I'm preparing my mise en place when I'm cooking and it's not that cute. So I recently picked up some really nice ones from HomeSense and I also wanted a pair of salad tongs to make it easy for me to more or less like serve food because besides that we were using really utilitarian barbecue looking tongs that were like practical but just not cute and you know I love my dining table and I have this like vision of this perfect setup in mind so I wanted to accomplish that so I got myself this pair of gold salad tongs really excited to use it have not used it yet but you know I will purposely be planning something this coming summer so that I can put this to use because they're so freaking cute also really well made super heavy too so they're quite substantial and I actually really like that you can put these straight through the dishwasher so really great easy for cleanup I don't know what was going through my mind when I originally ordered these a long time ago but I got a set of linen napkins. I love linen from H&M. It's just so well made and really well priced. I have a matching whole like tabletop sheet, tablecloth, tablecloth. That's what they're called. And I also have a set of napkins too. Originally, I only purchased, I think, six and we have now realized that our table can more or less seat up to eight so i decided to pick up another set of two i have like a bunch of them here and i was just worried that they weren't going to match color wise but they do so i'm really happy about that so i got another set this is just in like a very basic beige color as you guys can probably tell my home decor is beige i've started to add a couple of additional accents such as the gold salad tongs and i recently got a set of gold dinnerware as well flatware that's what it's called utensils and i can't wait to use it in the set dining table until i get the mood going oh I'm just so excited to host now for the summer. I feel like my tablescape is almost fully complete and I have everything essentially that I need between like wood, gold, linen, and different ceramics. Yeah, I, I am set. So be prepared to see some, I guess like summer barbecue hosting content coming up soon. But yes, got a set of napkins. These are my favorite. If you're looking for fairly affordable linen napkins, H&M is your place to hit up. They have a variety of colors. I just gravitate towards beige, but they have so many other beautiful ones. I think if you want to just like stock and have them ready throughout the year so that you can have them for like different themes of dinners that you're hosting. I guess like if you want red or green ones for Christmas, you could. And then if you want like bright, sunny, colorful ones for summer, you could too. Only thing left actually that I think I do need to get now are napkin rings. But I haven't found ones that I like yet. So still in the hunt for them. If you guys have a favorite place to hit up to get napkin rings, please drop it in the comments down below. You know, you're getting old and adulting when you get excited for napkin rings. Also something not super sexy, but I have have legit and I am not kidding. Been on the hunt for the perfect placemats for so long. We have these like weird fabric ones that I bought from HomeSense like many years ago that I bought for a shoot. I thought they would be cute. It's like woven fabric that has this silver type of plastic material going through it. And for the life of me, I have not been able to properly use them without it constantly like, wrinkling. And whenever I put plates and cups down, the thing is flat. So I really hate it. It's also really difficult to put through the wash because there's that metallic fabric. So we had to hand wash it all the time. And it also stains. So all in all, they're not great. I have a set of four. I definitely use them for like shoots and decorative purposes if I need to, but I've been on the hunt for the perfect placemats just to functionally use. And I finally found them from H&M. Of course, I got them in beige. They also come in black, but I got a set of five. I essentially bought out all they had in inventory. Originally, I had to go back and get another three more to complete the eight for our collection since we can see up to eight people and I wanted to kind of like match at the table anytime we're hosting or serving people. But I am obsessed with these. This is faux leather. It has white contrast stitching along the edges. It's not really too obvious that there is stitching, but I just like the fact that these are so easy to wipe down and to clean. So I'm really happy. Peter also loves them because they're easy for him to use too. And he doesn't have to like be super careful whenever we're washing them. And they actually don't stain. I've been using them for the past few weeks and I'm just really, really happy with the way they're turning out. They also come with matching coasters, but it's actually such a large surface that I don't think I need coasters. We've been using this and more or less have been able to fit like our bowls, plates, cups, utensils, like everything that you need essentially on here. And I think if you guys are looking for the perfect placemats, definitely hit up H&M because they have some phenomenal, beautifully made ones at the moment. I think that might be it for homeware stuff. So let's just jump over to some Harrison things before I share with you some picks for myself. Like I mentioned, he has grown out of all of his really cute, adorable clothes that I bought for him many months back. So I stocked up on a couple of new pieces. He's also kind of graduated out from onesies. We still use onesies because they're convenient and we don't have to always put on pants for him. But I have started to find it's actually easier to dress him in two pieces. 
like a top and bottom so when I'm switching out his diapers it's a lot more convenient I don't have to like take apart the whole thing anyway so I picked up two sets these are so freaking adorable it is a matching short and top set the first one has this dinosaur print on it these are little shorts it is like beige and blue actually now that I'm looking at it a little bit more it's not dinosaurs I don't know why I thought it was originally to begin with they're like zoo animals there's like a giraffe tiger turtle elephant crocodile it's just cute in general I just thought this whole like sketch design style was really adorable so I got him this these ones also come with snap closures at the top so you can actually expand the head a little bit more because I know it is kind of tough sometimes to get clothes on to kids he hates it when things are on his face so I have to make sure it's really easy to pull over his head so I essentially unsnap it and I just leave it unsnapped the whole time so this is a t-shirt and these are the shorts I also got him another set I think is adorable and I am on definitely the team of anybody can wear whatever clothes they want so I know some people may construe this as a little feminine but I think it's really cute on him it is this beige ribbed t-shirt set with little suns on it so cute and there are a matching pair of shorts these are like super stretchy so I really like them super comfortable in him and honestly I just mix and match a lot of these t-shirts and shorts with other pieces that he has in his wardrobe whichever one is currently clean at the moment because he gets dirty so easily and he does not get the top and the bottoms dirty equally so I just change whatever I need to but I just love these matching sets they are so lightweight really soft on his skin and super comfortable and very well priced too I apologize for the lighting the sun is going all over the place right now so I had to keep adjusting it as it goes like bright and dark the clouds are going over the sun I also picked him up this really cute yellow sweater you never know when it comes to summertime if you're gonna go in somewhere and the AC is on blasting way too high so I picked up a sweater it's a super lightweight one that I can throw on him we usually just have him kind of in like a short sleeve or a tank top so this is a great layering piece to make sure he doesn't get too too hot because I don't want to keep him in a long sleeve throughout the entire summer I did the whole parenting thing and bought like a size larger so that this can last him throughout the fall and winter too he loves it I think it looks really cute I just love oversized clothes on kids it's absolutely adorable. I believe this also comes in a couple of other colors. I will link as always everything down below so you guys can check out all the other colors. I personally really like it. It's super soft and lightweight on his skin so he does not fuss with it too much but it gives him like just the perfect amount of warmth whenever he's cold. How can you resist the matching sets at H&M? Like the really cute ones that aren't exactly like functional or practical but they just look so adorable. So I got him this matching set that has like a really thick ribbed t-shirt. It's actually really stretchy even though it is a little bit tighter than what it looks like and it's six to nine months. He's almost turning nine months soon. I cannot believe how time flies. It's gonna stretch quite well and he's gonna be able to wear it for the next couple of months. At least I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed. And it comes with these matching overalls. Like how adorable are these? I love this kind of like sage colored linen overall set. So stinking adorable. The leg area here is a little bit tight though because it's a little small on him and he's not like the chunkiest baby but he has put on weight so that's something I would note for sure if you're getting these for your kids that this is like the perfect fit. He doesn't love them but I still make him fit into them. He still looks pretty cute if I may say so myself. I am hoping that we can get a couple more wears out of these on him for the summer and then come fall maybe we'll retire them then. But as I said in my book this t-shirt will be lasting for quite a while and then like I mentioned we're planning to get him swimming quite a bit this summer so I picked up a couple of swimsuits with like a different variety of options of lengths depending on what the situation is going to be like we were originally going to bring him with us to Mexico in August but we've since actually canceled on those plans because his UTIs are happening a little bit too frequently we don't want him to get one while we're in Mexico and I'm not sure what the healthcare system is like there so we figured better not risk it let's just keep him at home until things kind of like steady out a little bit and then we'll take him traveling internationally and hope for the best at that point this is one of the first pieces that I picked up for him this is a rash guard with long sleeves just to give him some more added UV coverage looks really stinking cute has a little Mickey Mouse print pattern on it I think they have a couple of different designs you guys can click through in the link down below to find out which ones you like. I like it because the zipper goes all the way down so it's super easy to put on him and it's also very stretchy too so he's not struggling to wear this whenever I'm putting it on to him. Second is a matching set. This had such an adorable print I couldn't resist and I believe this set was also on sale. This is from a collection I think it's Leuntic or something I can't remember that H&M did and I guess because they're trying to sell out the collection it was on sale so I'm pretty happy with it. It's two piece. There's a long sleeve and a matching pair of bottoms too. Sometimes I just give him the bottoms when we take him to the pool since he's not really in the sun but if we were planning to take him with us to Mexico I was gonna give him the top and the bottom just to protect his skin from the sun and then last thing that I got which was really adorable if I may say so myself are these swim trunks with animal prints on them if you guys remember we got him a pair from Zara a couple weeks back I ended up returning those because they were just like too tight and a little bit too short for my preference on him so I got him this pair of animal print just because I like animals and I think they're so stinking adorable it like the waterproof material and it has that kind of like mesh in 
inside even though he is still wearing swim diapers. I also really like the fact that the drawstring here is actually like a functional drawstring. I'm so tired of kids clothes that have drawstrings that aren't functional and it just makes me feel like I wish I could have been able to tie this to tighten it but it's I can't, so why did you even add this? It's just stupid at that point. But anyways, these are so adorable. They fit him like perfectly, and we have been using these on him ever since. We've been taking him to the swimming pool lately just to like get him more acquainted with the water since we're not gonna be going to Mexico. And I have full intentions to start teaching him how to swim once he's able to grasp the concept of blowing up bubbles and like breathing in the water. But yeah, these are so cute. Probably my favorite purchase from everything I got from him from H&M for this haul. Ooh, how could I forget the very last thing? I actually had to get this from him right before I started filming this because he just finished his nap. So we were using another sleep sack for him originally that was a little bit thicker for the winter time. He was growing out of it quite a bit. So we decided to get him a new one and I haven't used these from H&M yet, but I actually really like them. They're super long. I believe this one is supposed to go up to at least a year. His feet come down to like here. So he's got quite a ways to go and he's already at like the 97th percentile for length. So I think it's gonna last a little bit longer than a year. So if you guys are interested, these are really long, super lightweight too and very soft on the skin. This is registered as like a TOG 2, but I feel like it operates more like a TOG 1.5. If you guys don't know what TOGs are, it's like a temperature grading for how thick this is for a child depending on what your ambient temperature in the house is. And he's perfectly fine in this. We usually just put him in like a short sleeve and pant or just like a short sleeve onesie and he sleeps in this at night and he's perfectly fine. We do keep a fan running in his room with a humidifier and the door to his bedroom like wide open as well when we're sleeping so that we can hear him. But I think this operates fine on him. He doesn't sweat or get too hot at nighttime and I love this. It comes in a variety of different prints and patterns. I primarily like it because there's only one snap for the shoulder here whereas the other one we were using had two snaps. You just slide his arm through this hole here, snap this side shut and then the zipper pulls straight down. The zipper is a really smooth one so you don't have to like fuss when he's asleep to put it on. It's also not a loud one either because the previous zipper we were using was really loud whenever we zipped it shut and it would kind of wake him up every once in a while so I was not a fan of that one but loving this one so far. And and I think I might actually pick up another one for him in the future once he grows out of this one because he really enjoys it so far. Okay, so that is everything that I got for Harrison. We're going to be moving on to what I got for myself next. And these were all pieces that I actually brought with me to Italy because I love them so much. Very basic. First off, I just got myself like this little crop tank situation. I wanted something that I could wear with like high-waisted pants and layer underneath shirts. So something very basic. Last time I bought a black one for our trip to Spain and I wore it so much. I literally wore that thing to death that I was like, you know what, Vic, the next time you see a white one, get it because you love them and they just essentially match with everything. It's a little bit thin, so you do have to be mindful of that. But I think if you just put on like nibble pasties, you're not gonna see much. I do wish that they had like a thicker version though, so I could wear a bra underneath and not have the straps show. But other than that, I liked it. Very comfortable, super affordable, very cheap. If you guys are looking for a piece like this, definitely hit up H&M. I also realized I don't really have a two-piece white bathing suit yet. I have a lot of like one pieces and I wanted a white one just for like Italy so I could sunbathe in it. So I got this really cute one. I mix and match these pieces. This is not from the same set, just FYI, if you guys are gonna do the same thing. The textures are very different, but from far away, you cannot really tell. So first up is this like super cheeky high-waisted white bottoms. It's in like this really kind of stretchy ruched material and the back is very cheeky so it's definitely gonna be kind of thong-like. Definitely not very like family friendly or appropriate so I'm not gonna be wearing this in front of my family but still very cute nonetheless. And then to match with the top I got this bandeau piece. I like how simple this whole set looked and I'm also actually a fan that this bandeau is a little bit longer than most swim tops because if I was to go where the bra ends, like the bra cup, it ends like right here. You get a whole extra almost inch and a half of fabric underneath. So you could easily wear this as a set, throw on some shorts and a little like linen shirt over top and presto, you have an outfit that is ready for the day. Not only can you wear this to go swimming, but you can also wear it out and about as an actual outfit too. Like I said though, these are not a matching set. So I originally wanted to get a matching set, but the different pieces were sold out. So I ended up getting these two and I think they personally look really great together. I have no issues with them at all. Second is a triangle bikini. I actually never really purchased triangle bikinis because I just don't like the way my chest looks in them. But with these mommy boobs that I've been having so far, they've been looking great. I used to purchase push-up ones. This is by no means a push-up bikini. It just has an added bit of coverage to it. I actually like that the back is more kind of like a bra strap style that you can adjust as opposed to tying it around your neck. I think this kind of helps give me that added extra push-up. I don't know what it is, but this design 
and just looks really cute. I am not a fan of the ones where you have to tie around your neck because I find that those ones never really give my boobs much dimension. But this one for some reason did really well and it's super, super adjustable. The straps are adjustable in the back here and the front is also adjustable where you tie it here as well. So I'm a huge fan of this one. Very super dainty, like feminine print. Kind of looks much more yellow from afar, but close up it's definitely yellow and pink and I'm a huge fan of this one. To go along with that are a pair of floral bottoms, just matching side tie and they have that little ruffle detailing on the top. This really reminds me of like the early 90s tops that have all the ruffle hem on them. Really cute, kind of gives me very 90s vibes for sure. I was a huge fan of this set and I actually paired it with this shirt next. I'm gonna show you guys. As you guys know, I have a love for linen. So I picked up this linen blend yellow shirt and I say linen blend because this is not 100% linen. 100% linen and it's actually quite expensive, but I really liked how this fit. I would have definitely ironed this out a little bit more for you guys, but linen wrinkles and creases like no tomorrow. So not the biggest fan of that. And I didn't want to bother essentially steaming this because I just spent a whole hour steaming some other stuff for another haul and it just drove me bonkers. So I didn't have the patience for it. Just FYI, let you guys know. But I like this. We've washed this already and it has not run color wise. So I think the dye that they use is really good. It's a beautiful light yellow pastel color that's gonna obviously add a little bit of brightness and sheer to any outfit that you wear for the summertime. And I've just been wearing this so much as a layering piece over like crop tops, tank tops, bathing suits. This to me is like my green linen shirt from Mango that I bought last summer. Don't get me wrong, I still wear that one a lot, but I wanted to add a little bit more yellow into my life this year and I did not find one last year that I truly loved. So this one I came across, I fell in love with it. I immediately picked it up. It's very oversized. I got this in a size medium. I think the original size, like an extra small is actually quite fitted and tailored to your body, but I wanted that very oversized fit that I could wear as like an over shirt. I definitely sized up and this one fits amazingly. So if you want that oversized fit, go two sizes up. Okay, this shirt was to be purchased as a set with a pair of matching bottoms. Unfortunately, the bottoms were completely sold out. So I was really bummed about that, but I actually ended up wearing this so much as a cover up top on its own. It's also a button down, but it's in this like smooth silky fabric. And I actually really like that it has a diagonal stripes instead of just straight ones. I cannot tell you how many outfits I've already put together with this. It is absolutely stunning. It is also super, super silky on the skin, not like a heavy sticky type of silk. And it also doesn't cling to your skin sometimes silk does. This is actually not even silk at all. It's 100% polyester. However, I just really like the print so much and I'm actually not too sad anymore that the bottoms were not available because this on its own now, I think I just even like it more as a top as opposed to like matching top and bottoms because the bottoms were cute, but I actually don't know how often I would wear the bottoms out on their own, but I would wear the top out quite a bit. So pretty happy with this. I highly recommend it if you want that very simple, sleek look. If you guys like this black and white, well, it's not really white actually, it's beige, which is what I like about it. It's not super, super stark. Dynamite has a kind of ish similar look, but it's more of like a sketch kind of like silhouette drawing on it. So you can definitely pick that up, but I will try my best to link this from H&M and any similar styles if this one is currently sold out. I'm a huge fan. I think I'm gonna wear this so much. It is very simple, sleek. You can wear it as like an overshirt or you can even wear this into the office with a pair of like high-waisted black pants. I think that would be chef's kiss as an outfit. All right, so that is everything that I got from my current H&M haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I got so many amazing pieces that I'm very, very happy with between my wardrobe, home stuff, and things for Harrison. I pretty much loved everything that I picked up. I didn't have issues with anything. And you guys know, I sometimes have problems when it comes to H&M because I don't love everything, but everything that I picked up this time was like jackpot. So pretty happy with all that stuff. I'm gonna link everything down below. As always, if you guys wanna give it a quick shop, I am pretty sure a lot of the sites right now are currently going through their like, it's not even the end of summer, but they're starting to go through their summer sales. So you can probably snatch a lot of these on sale pretty soon. So keep an eye out for any of them. And yeah, let me know which pieces that you guys do pick up if you do grab any of them. And if there are any pieces from my haul that are your absolute favorite. I'd also like to know if you guys have already picked up any of these pieces so we can twin because you know, twinning is fun. But yes, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys wanna see more of me, you know where to find me on Instagram and on TikTok, post on those platforms a little bit more frequently than I do YouTube if you want to see more of me there. Otherwise, make sure you guys are subscribed on here as well. That way I pop up in your sub box every week when I post. I am on a great roll right now, once a week, every Thursday at 7 p.m. AST. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys come back for the next one. In the meantime, have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.